Hello friends, welcome back to a new season of The Long Dark. We are updated to Alpha 298. This came out uh, yesterday, and I finally got a chance to carve out time to play it. So, uh, I want to go over just kind of briefly what the new game has got in it, and what they announced. They've announced the spring launch of the story mode. So basically it's going to be kind of an episodic release where uh, season one is going to be rolled out over the course of the year. And then it looks like they may, may have additional seasons um, later on. So season one is going to be released starting in the spring. Who knows when that's going to be. Hopefully that'll be like, you know, March, April or something like that. But we have no idea at this point. Um, and that's going to have about three to four hours of gameplay in it. And then after that, um, they're going to try to push out um, additional chunks throughout 2016. And each chunk will be two to three hours of gameplay in each one until the season one story arc is complete. So they're expecting the playtime for season one, the whole for story mode for season one to be about 10 to 12 hours. So not a long game. Um, and then, you, but you're going to be able to play that season one, or you'll, you'll experience season one from two the experience from the perspective of two different carriers, uh, characters, um, uh, a bush pilot named Will McKenzie and Doctor Astrid Greenwood. And they actually have a trailer up on their website at hinterlandgames.com, and uh, it's going to be really cool. So they're, the story mode is going to launch with uh, two new features that aren't available in Sandbox, which is Survivors and the Aurora. Um, but there's going to be, and they're also going to use, you know, they're going to use pretty much a lot of the same world that currently exists in the sandbox, which was intended originally to be just a testing platform, but they realized that we love it <laughs> as a survival sandbox. So they're going to keep that. But there's going to be about 20 to 35, 25 to 30% of the game in the story mode world will be in completely new areas. So really looking forward to that. Um, also, the price is going to increase afterwards. So if you guys are interested, oh, if you are interested in playing this game, I'd recommend picking it up before that launches so that, um, you know, you can get in to this great game at a, at a good price. So, and it is available on Xbox One and on Steam. So, um, also new features. Wow. It is really late. <laughs> really getting loud in there. Um, new features come a new area they've opened up all the areas to be picked even if you didn't oh sorry Voyager uh, even if you haven't unlocked them they've, they've realized from the gameplay statistics that most people like a, a very large chunk uh, is never leaving Mystery Lake so they've opened up these other areas so that you can get to them. So of course those three are very familiar with us. Uh, we explored desolation point in our last one, and there's a whole new region that has been added, uh, in this new alpha timber wolf mountain. So for advanced players, so we're going there. Oh yes. Uh, we're not going there immediately. We will be gearing up first and we're going to be starting this playthrough off in the coastal highway. So my intent is uh, to get started here, gear up, move over to uh, to Desolation Point, loot that area up, move over again to Pleasant Valley, and then um, oh, I didn't realize it's for advanced players, huh? And then move to Timberwolf Mountain, which comes off. And they've added a new um, game mechanic as well. They have added the ability to do mountain climbing. Uh, you attach a rope to a rock. I'm not sure how flexible that system is. Yeah, obviously you haven't had a chance to play with it. Um, so that's going to be really interesting. They've also added um, rifle cleaning kits or gun cleaning kits. And they've added a sharpening stone. So you don't just repair your knife or your gun with scrap metal anymore. You have to have those uh, specific cleaning kits that you'll find out in the world or a whetstone um, to keep those pieces of equipment fixed up. All right, so let's go ahead and hop on in. So it, uh, oops, hop on into the right area. 
Coastal Highway. Confirm. And we're going to play as a guy again. Oh, and now we can get our slave slot, slot name. We're going to call this Season 5. Um, so, they've also added a new uh, flare gun, signal flare gun, that will drive off uh, bears. So that's good. But now there's a, it's a unique item. There's only one of them. And my guess is, from how they've mentioned it on the... Uh, in the in the description is that it's findable or it's found in that new timber uh, timber area that you have to actually climb a mountain to get to it. So that is going to be really really interesting. They've also added a new stats screen that gives a lot more details of what's going on. Um, so we'll look at, let's look at that right off the bat here. Where did we spawn? Oh, pretty good. We, we spawned on Jackrabbit Island. That is handy. Let's go ahead and grab a few of these. So let's look at this. So this is the new... This looks just a little... For some reason, it looks a little different. Like they've tightened it up or something. Um, survive for seven minutes. Which is amazing because I just spawned in the game. Um, so what do we have? The new stats, so the new general journal. So it tells us we've explored 0% of the world so far, rested for zero hours. So this shows you what happened during that day and where you visited. So you can always really look back and see what was going on. Um, we can make, oh, you can actually write notes. Like I found, oh, that is awesome. Being able to add notes on a day by day basis. I started my new life. How long will I survive in this cold, barren place? There we go. So we got a little note added. Uh, and we've added collectibles. So there's collectibles that you can find as well. Oh, it's not that bad. All right, so let's, let's run on over, on over here and get into the house. What a bunny rabbit. Uh, usually there's a body over here as well. Oh, there it is. Maybe we'll luck out and get a rabbit. Or not a rabbit. A gun right off the bat. And I did not. Come on, give me something good. Oh man, I gotta remember that we are not in awesome gear. So we can start freezing our asses off here right off the bat. Oops, no. I can't afford to do that. Plenty of rabbit here. Alright, let's get outside, get out, get out of the cold. All right, so they have added, uh, they tweaked the rifle aiming as well so that the iron sights actually match up now. Because we've always had a problem, or I at least have always had a problem hitting things at a distance because the sights are off from where the actual trajectory is. So they've fixed that by adding a small aim circle to the iron sights um, and also just kind of tightened that up as well. Now, fatigue has an impact on accuracy by introducing a little... Um, so, you know, you'll kind of do this when you're tired and depending upon how tired you are is the more, you know, of this kind of wandering you'll get. Um, and rifle condition also adds to maybe a jamming effect. Uh, they've also fixed the bow. So the, there's an aim dot back in the bow. So that'll be really, really helpful. Um, and they've added some archery targets to the world. So we have an opportunity to actually practice so that will be nice. Maybe we can actually get a little more use out of the bow uh, in this in this season. So uh, they updated the, the stag um, and its animations. They updated um, the it's so dark. It's so dark. Um, they updated the wind as well. So trees, branches, grass, everything's all pretty much affected by wind speed and direction now. 
which is cool. They have so much attention to detail. Uh, book's not worth it. Anything over here? No. Alright, let's just check the cabinet. Yeah, I wish this place had a fireplace. Because uh, otherwise it's really, it's not, it's not a bad little house. But with no fireplace, it's kind of a pointless place to stay. What I'm hoping for is to get at least some clothes. Um, otherwise, we're going to be making a run over to the mechanic's hut. Actually, maybe not. Maybe we'll run over to the kind of um, down by the bridge on the, we'll call it the north end. Wow. Whole lot of nada. Yeah, they didn't say anything about tweaks to wolves as far as their aggression or anything. So we'll have to just learn that as time goes on. Uh, expect uh, probably three episodes a week for seven days to die. Uh, no, for, <laughs> this is not seven days to die. Uh, for seven days to die, you'll get those every day. Uh, but that's my always that's my main my main thing. All right, let's go ahead and get those. Let's get those socks on. So these are eighty nine point six. Well, these are yeah. They'll be better when I get them repaired. Ooh, those boots too. But for right now, we're gonna have to make do. Come on, give me a nice jacket. Ah, you bastard. What? Oh, the beginning. The beginning. It's always so rough in the beginning. How long will we survive? I do want to get to that uh, location, so I'm going to... I will try and try and try to get up the mountain. Because evidently, you have to, when you're doing the mountain climbing, it... Oh, good. It costs a lot of uh, endurance. So you may have to, okay, these are slightly better. Wow, I need to, I need to get some sewing kits. All right, so nothing else. Let's go ahead and take that half gallon of water. Come on, that's nice. So nice, good start. So I wonder how, yeah, I wonder how we do on this on this run. I still, I, I'm still not quite sure how I died. <laughs> well, I know I, I, I know I died, but not quite sure how I died in the last season. But you guys saw it. Enough said I did get cold before I hopped in, but then uh, evidently it was enough to push it over the edge and kill me. Even though I should have been fine, even a, even in a bad storm. All right, so that's clear. And this is clear. So this house. Now I've got a few medical supplies and um, not a whole lot of extra. Now luckily it's a nice enough day. Oh shit, it feels like minus, oh there it goes. Oh, that's the other thing they changed. They changed it so that, um, there's another body back here usually too. Uh, they changed as well so that caves, the coldness around caves is more tied into the, uh, <coughs> uh, this is probably dumb, it's more tied into the world temperature. <laughs> oh, crap. Yeah, that was, that was dumb. That was really, this was not, this was not a good choice right now. I already got a sprained ankle. Only now I'm kind of stuck. <coughs> and they minimized the, the HUD display a little bit. Oh, a bullet at least. Um, so they're... Actually, I wish that... that, that Dot, I wish they would do something with the dot because, man, it is hard to see on pure white, tell you that much. 
Um, so they minimize the HUD even further so that messages come up only when they're really, really critical. Um, so that is going to be another thing to keep in, to keep an eye on. Okay, we can hit up a couple of these little spots. Everybody, you share some wolves out here. That's why I'm, I'm being so uh, squirrely. Some frozen soda. Mm. Oh, I wish I could have you. All right, let's. Uh, how early is it in the day? We can't got... feel my hands. Oh, I know. Hang in there, buddy. How old are you? Uh, you're you're numb. You're not. We need to get you some. Let's see if we can get him some gloves here really quickly. Well, we'll hit this place and then we'll go hit that uh, fishing camp. The car up there as well. We might... Oh, they put doors. They put a little door on them. I wonder if they put all of them. They didn't even note that in the uh, logs. Ah, I was hoping for a hatchet or... Come on, guys. Give me something good. Give me something. Oh, I'll take the scarf. Every little bit right now. Oops. I wasn't wearing that hat. Right. Every little bit helps. Every little bit. Numb. Definitely nothing else in here, huh? <sighs> yeah, I can't. I can't stay. I need to stay, but I can't stay. Uh, I'm torn, but you know what? I don't want to risk. I don't think there's anything else on this little island. Watch me die here, wolf attack. You've survived for seven minutes. So cold. Hang in, buddy. Hang in there. I'll get you in, inside here really quickly. Yeah, I just wish they added jump. Don't understand why they haven't added a jump mechanic. So I'm really interested in seeing the uh, survival. I mean, their video. I really recommend you check out the trailer for the for the story mode. It looks really interesting. So I'm really I mean it's only gonna be it's gonna be short, so you'll knock it out in a few just a few episodes of gameplay. Ah, the whetstone for our knives. That is handy. Okay, nothing there. Alright, come on, give me some gloves, give me a good jacket, something. That'll come in handy. I don't see any under the bed. Nothing there. So we got we have one cabinet we can't open here. Those sun shafts make it hard to see sometimes. Ah, matches, good. 
but nothing else. Okay. Woo! Ah. So I will be doing. Um, I, need put a, I need to do a little schedule thing. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll record that tonight as well. But basically, I'll do uh, long dark on. Uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays will be my long, oh, oh, my long dark days. <laughs> Go to Flare, sweet. <gasps> New location is here. That's cool. So now it's going to point those out for us. Come on. Uh, Come on. Man, right now we are sucking wind. We're warming up a little bit. Um, okay, he's any better? Eh, slightly better. Let's wear him. Yeah, we've got, yeah, we've got any kind of jacket, any kind of gloves. Would be just hugely beneficial because I'll get this stupid down vest right now. It's a crappy sweater. Yeah, so we need gloves and some decent, uh, a decent jacket, like a pea coat would be awesome. All right, so nothing in this one. Man, I, don't, I think we would, I don't know if we'd freeze to death or not, making the run, um, trying to get all the way down to, uh, Safe kit, nice. Getting down to the uh, mechanic shop or not? Come on, come on, come on. Stingy bastards. I'm really interested. I wonder how they'll do the toot. Toot! Yes. Uh, I wonder how difficult the survival elements will be for the uh, story mode. I'm really interested in seeing that. Now, I th think this might be the last season. Oh, hang on. The last season before. The it all depends. I mean, it, it sounds like they're not going to be putting more uh, content pieces out. So if they don't put more... Uh, content updates out. I won't do a season. Um, oh, yes. Thank you. I have some gloves, too. What have we here? All right. Sweet. Oh, it's a better fleece sweater and better jacket. 2-1. Yes. Beautiful. Oh, good. More wolf be gone. I think it's one more. I think it's one more cabin. Nope, that was it. Is there anything? Oh, a knife. Very nice. Okay. Um, yeah, we get we can we can do it. I think we can do it. It's gotta be fast, gotta be fast, fast, fast. Loot like oh yes. Good, some gloves. It's a nice day, too, which is the thing that's killing me, is that it's actually a nice, or a nice day. Got 
two bolts already? All right, let's make the let's make the run. Hang in there, buddy. We're we're not that far. Not really that far, so. We've got this, uh, I think it'll probably just hold up at this uh, logging area right here. I just need to close my eyes. Not yet, man. Don't, don't give in. Don't give in to the cold. Stay strong. Stay strong. So, uh, yeah, this week will be an episode on, you know, Thursday and Saturday, and then we'll pick up our regular, our regular schedule. And big thanks to all my regular viewers of this of this uh, season or this game. I really appreciate, you know, Wise Old Geezer, Stacy, all you guys giving me the tips and tricks and joining me on my survival adventures. And somehow we will get even farther. Neil, don't forget about Neil. Yeah, we got it. We're gonna spend the night. We're gonna spend the day, night here. No, f no uh, campfires here. I don't believe. Anything? I thought there was a. Workbench or something. Maybe it's, maybe it is just the other one. Oh, freezing, tired. Strong lantern. Mariner's pea coat. That should be good. How how good is this thing? Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at that. Oh yes. That's some serious warmth. It's really good condition too. See, I knew we could we could find good stuff. Water. All right, this is it. How are we doing? We're warming back up, so we're feeling like 43. We're drained, we're tired, hungry. All right, uh, I will eat and sleep. And you guys join me back here in the morning. We'll head out and uh, keep making a push over to um, the, the coastal town. And uh, hopefully we can find some more gear there. I'll hit maybe a couple of the, a uh, couple more of the ice fishing huts on the way over there. So anyway, for now, welcome back to, it hasn't been very long, but welcome back to season five of The Long Dark. What's wrong with the bald? If you guys are enjoying it, click that like button. Leave me notes in the comments. Tell me what you guys think of all the great things they've mentioned for the story mode. We're looking forward to that. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.